G'day and welcome to a QR360 AU flight. Today we'll be going 120 metres above the suburb of Toronto, Lake Macquarie, in New South Wales. Toronto is a lakeside suburb within the city of Lake Macquarie in New South Wales. It's approximately 28 kilometres or 17 miles from Newcastle's central business district. It is a commercial hub for the sprawling suburbs of western and the western shores of the lake. It is one of the major cities in the city of Lake Macquarie local government area. Surrounding suburbs include Awaba, Black Halls Park, Lake Macquarie, which is the city, Carry Bay, Kiliburn Bay, Rathmines, and back around to Awaba again. The population of Toronto as of 2016 census was 5,602 people. It covers an area of 9.5 kilometres square, which equates to 3.7 square miles. It is 137 kilometres north of Sydney and 17 kilometres southwest of Charlestown and 45 kilometres south southeast of Maitland. Featured to the east here is Lake Macquarie, otherwise known as a Wobba by the Indigenous people. Australia's largest coastal saltwater lagoon. It is located in the Hunter region and it covers an area of 110 square kilometres. It is connected to the Tasman Sea by a short channel at Swansea. Most of the residents of Lake Macquarie live near its shores. Lake Macquarie is twice as large as Sydney Harbour and one of the largest saltwater lagoons in the Southern Hemisphere. It is slightly smaller than Port Stephens, which is 43 kilometres to the northeast. The catchment area for Lake Macquarie is 604.4 kilometres and it is fed by Cockle Creek and Dora Creek primarily. The name Awaba means, in Aboriginal, a plain surface. Toronto has a high street called the Boulevard. This road starts at the foreshore, forming a junction with Victory Parade. It stretches westwards 1.2 kilometres and is a commercial hub for Toronto and the surrounding areas. The section of the road between the foreshore and Carry Street is a main retail area for Toronto. Over the years, the streetscape has degraded and in 2013, Lake Macquarie City Council decided to start renewing its streetscape. This process began by cutting down some famous figs that line the street and then replacing the walkways and planting more controllable trees that will work into 2018. Thank you for tuning in for this AU360 and if you have any suggestions, feel free to email me.